Hello. Hi. How are you? Happy New Year. <laughs> oh my damn. I'm so weird when I'm alone. Like, I would never do this in public or when people are around me. I get so vocal when I'm alone. And you know, yes, yes, yes. I had something yesterday. Actually, there is the who you are when you're alone, the who you are when you're around your family, and the who you are when you're around your friends, your peers, like people you can joke around with. And what I'm just trying to say is that it's true. We tend to uh, like behave in a different certain way when we're around different kinds of people. And just that's just because of how they treat us. That's my take. What is this girl talking about? Like, could you get to the point already? Okay, I'm gonna get to the point. My name is Stacey Angelin, and today we're gonna be talking about why our generation needs an apology. Things are serious when you find me with a straight face because I never have a straight face. I'm always laughing and joking around. Okay, that's a lie. I usually don't joke around mostly and I have that resting, resting beach face. And people find me really very much unapproachable. That's what I've been told. First and foremost, the generation that I'm talking about is the generation which was brought up or which was born between 1996, so let's say 1995, up to 2004. And by this, I mean, uh, I don't know if it's a mixture of the millennials and the Gen Zs, Gen Z, Gen Z. We are being told that uh, our generation is lazy, our generation is the least resilient, our generation doesn't want to be told anything, we want everything, uh, instant gratification. And let me tell you something. This is how we've been brought up. Like, when you say things like instant gratification, it's because of the internet. And the older generations fail to realize that we were brought up in a world which has these things already the mobile phones the internet the social media sites and i just fail to understand why the blame keeps falling on us and it's not us who developed the internet and all the ideologies uh, surrounding social media we found it here we were raised with it we know about it this is how we are supposed to live <laughs> I'm telling you, if we were brought up in the older generations, I think we would have the same uh, passiveness or the same thinking like you guys. But because we are brought up in, a gen in an environment which has all these things, we are forced to keep up. It's not our fault. Like, you tell us we have no patience. It's because we are used to instant gratification. You post a picture, you get likes there and there. You post something which is, which is supposed to be so it sells there and there like you order something you want something you order it from jumia it gets here there and there so what is it that is the problem because i really don't understand i don't really understand like why you tell us we don't have the patience to wait for something yes i'm sure you used to let's say send a letter to someone who is in nairobi it will take like two uh, a week for them to receive the message and you are forced to have that patience but right now things are like that fast 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 so how do you expect me to have patience when my whole life things are just moving like this we complain every time and you know what when you're born you are doing things to please your parents it's not the things that you want because you can't you are not supposed to choose the things that you want to do the things which you were being told to do uh, we didn't have to choose Things were already chosen for us. Like, you go to a school which has been chosen for you, you do the subjects which you are being told to do. You go to university, you do a course which you have been told to do, which not the one which you want to do precisely. If you, uh, your parents like, takes you to school and you tell him you want to do like fashion and design. What is fashion and design? Where are you going to go with that? You end up studying something which you don't want, which makes you flunk in school, getting a degree which you didn't want, which makes looking for a job extremely, extremely difficult because you're looking for a job which you don't want. So when you grow up, you have no idea what to do because you're used to being shown this is how you're supposed to, to do. This is how you're supposed to be. You are supposed to use this road. Don't go this way to Mia Hindia. Why do you keep blaming us that we can't do anything for ourselves like and the main reason why 
this is happening is because you used to do everything for us like we were not in a position to choose anything for ourselves because you had already made the decision for us okay when it comes to dealing with stress we have a whole generation of people complaining to us uh, this particular generation that we have no idea how to deal with stress yes we know the effects of social media yes we know that these mobile phone devices enable us like they give that particular effect uh like when you drink alcohol when you smoke they have that same effect they remove that dopamine something chemical which makes us feel good when we receive texts when we receive lights so instead of helping us cope with these things we have a whole generation of old people who are trying to attack us for using things which were already here first of all stand. like we have this whole war gener war generation war which is going on which we are trying to fight we are trying to change the other ones are trying to fight us for trying to change it and we have a whole world which is all round confused look at our leaders right now especially here in kenya that is the example that you guys are setting for us that we do not need to be honest to get things done like being good is not good anymore like being good will not get you anywhere you need to be rough you need to be tough actually there's a quote there's a quote which says uh good will not get you anywhere like being good will not get you anywhere and there are memes which are spreading all around encouraging people to be bad like encouraging people to do bad things and then we have a generation full of thieves a generation full of swindlers you're telling us if you're weak you'll get stepped on if you're weak people will wash you away like how jesus washes away our sins and you end up with people who are scared to be weak end up with people who are scared to show emotions because we know if you're weak go to kanyagiwa chief you know it's the example that our leaders are setting for us and it's not our fault and we need an apology for that I'm not glorifying what we are doing. Yes, I'm accepting it's bad, but I'm just saying it's part of what you are showing us that we are doing. Because I cannot just wake up and start being bad. I've actually seen, seen someone doing bad things and benefiting from it. That's why I want to do it also so that I can benefit from it. Let's go to the, uh, what can we say, the corporate environment. <laughs> Why have you refused to hire us? We need these people to get out and tell us exactly what do you want us to do? Let me be precise. I did journalism and mass communication. We have comedians who are in our field who have never had the time to study and know what exactly is media ethics. They have no idea about that, but they are in radio stations presenting. They have shows, they are getting paid millions. Well, we are here, we are struggling because in your requirements for job applications you put, you want someone with 10 years experience. Like, come on, 10 years experience. If you don't want us, just tell us, Hatuataki, like, go home. And you know, most of the people who have 10 years experience already have jobs. Like, what is going on? So in conclusion, what I can say is that you guys should help us overcome the need for instant gratification. They should help us have that particular, give us the sweet fulfillment of working for the things that you want, which we need to understand. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes mobility, it takes that personal reflection. But instead, you guys make us blame ourselves, that you make us feel like we have no skills, we are we are brain dead, like totally. But then this needs to stop that because we are the people who have the ideas, we are the people who have the ability to bring a change to this world. But instead you're not listening to us. You tend to want us to follow your ways. You understand and you are older, you have seen things, yes, we know that. We know you have seen it, you have experienced it, but not everything is as it used to be and with that that is my rant for today i'm gonna to stop the video there reflect on that see on that if i have stepped on anyone's shoes i'm sorry but this is just my take about this particular issue if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share so that we can get this message out there
And with that, I'd like to thank everyone who has watched until here. Till next time, goodbye.